It's time for Lake of the Ozarks High School Football on Lake TV. Join us for our rebroadcast of Friday night's contest between two Lake Area teams. Sponsored in part by Chris Wagner at Farmers Insurance, Smart Postal Centers, Quick Car, Save a Lot, Laser Force, Home Comfort Furnishings 123, Precision Tire and Auto Repair, Replay, Aris Pizza and Pub, JJ Twigs, Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC, and Beck Wellness Center. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris's Pizza, We've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week starts right now. I'm William Holtz. I've got Camerington Athletic Director Jeff Whitney. Thanks for joining us tonight, Jeff. Hey, glad to be here. We got a big one tonight. Glendale comes in. They're one and seven. They're playing your seven and one Camerington Lakers. You guys have the district locked up. Looks like the conference is going to go to Kickapoo. What's important for your team to gain momentum going into district playoffs? Oh, I think our coaches and, and players do a great job of just gearing up for that. You know, that's just kind of a natural thing here. And and like I said, our, our coaches do such a such a great job of getting our players ready. And the players' mindset, you know, is it's a new season when the playoffs start, and, and they want to go as deep as, as they can. And and uh, so it's it's an exciting part of the year. It's like a new season. Absolutely. We talk about high school football. You know, every high school says it's not just about the football team. You have the band, the cheerleaders. That couldn't be more true anywhere than it is here in Camerton. You have the dance team, the band, the cheerleaders. Talk about the atmosphere of not just Camerton Lake or football, but the other things that surround that. Yeah, and you know it is. It's a huge part of it. It's all. It's it's all encompassing. You know, it's all of our sports. It's 17 sports. It's our it's our band, choir, speech and debate, our cheer and dance, and and all of those things coming together. And on a night like tonight, you've got 100. And you know, 180 band members, and you've got uh, at halftime our cheerleaders and dance will be doing a, a, a gig together. You know, so uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to see their performance, and uh, you know, and it's just a big community event. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. It's where people want to be, and and uh, you know, it's fun to be a part of it. The Lakers are going to take on Glendale tonight. It's a senior night here. You got everyone here. Where would you rather be than right here? Yeah, right Jeff? here. This is, this is the place. It's a good time yeah. to be a Laker. Folks, this is Lake TV. I'm William Holtz. We thank Jeff Whitney for thank joining you. us, activities director here at Camdenton High School. We'll be back with Glendale and Camdenton right after this. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local ConnectPoint alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway, or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. Welcome to Bob Shore Stadium. We would like to introduce the offensive and defensive starters for tonight's game. First, our honorary starters, number 11, Ryan Elliott, and number 15, Tyler Cunningham. Number three, Luke Burris. Number four, Mason Bennett. Number ten, Bo Dean. Number twelve, Colin Carla. Number nineteen, Jordan Webster. Number twenty, Brendan Barrett. Number twenty-one, Shane Cook. Number 22, Elijah Allison. Number 25, Taylor Woods. Number 40, John Payne. Number 41, Jimmy Sanders. 
Number 43, Ryan Harris. Number 44, Matt Lindsay. Number 48, Kyle Shad. Number 49, Bill Mono. Number 52, Ben Parrish. Number 67, Logan Sasley. Number 68, Zach Burns. Number 70, Alex Polono. Number 73, Ace Martin. And number 87, Eric Frenzy. And number 56, Colby Taz Weiser. And let's welcome the rest of the Lakers football players. is about more than just back pain relief. It's the natural approach to whole body wellness. Medical studies show that chiropractic is effective for headaches, migraines, dizziness, and neck pain. Patients with auto injuries, tinnitus, jaw disorders, fibromyalgia, and shoulder pain have also found relief with chiropractic. Call our office today to learn how chiropractic can help the whole you. Ease the pain. Call Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center today. Feel better tomorrow. Save a lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot, savings made easy. And Lake TV's week nine coverage starts here in Camdenton, Missouri, where the seven and one Lakers will take on the one and seven Glendale Falcons. I'm William Holtz, and we are set for week nine and tonight's Matchup features two teams going in completely different directions. Glendale 4 and 16 in their last 20 matchups, including 1 and 7 on the season. And you would think they would be ready to get this season over with. They'll be without their starting quarterback, Tyler Marion, tonight, as well as their stud running back, Josh Buchanan, both suffering season injury, season ending injuries over the last few weeks. And that means they will both be on the shelf for tonight's ballgame. Starting at quarterback for Glendale. Alex Austin will get the nod. The junior quarterback stands 6'2". He weighs 150 pounds. And boy, when you talk about your first start at the high school level, you couldn't talk about a stiffer defense to go against than these Camden 10 Lakers. Coach Jeff Shore, he'll lead the way. He's in his third season, and he carries an overall mark of 22 and 11 in his third year here. He's won two district titles here at Camden 10, and he is looking to win his third as Camden 10 has already locked up the number one seed in the district for the regular season. Tonight's game will carry little to no importance in the district seeding as Camden 10 guaranteed themselves the one seed. They'll play the winner of Waynesville and another game yet to be determined. Tonight's spotlight matchup, we're gonna feature Colin Carlock, the stud receiver, is 10 receptions shy of the school mark for most receptions in a year. He stands at 57 on the season and he is 10 shy of the school mark of 67. He'll be without his favorite friend on the other side of the field as Ryan Elliott sustained an injury last week. He will not suit up, he will not play today. So Colin Carlock will be very, very relied upon tonight in the passing game. And I would be surprised if Coach Shore didn't come out and try to pound the ball on the rock, or try to pound the rock on the ground all night and wear out this defense. So we're set for a great night of football We'll be back with a kickoff on Lake TV right after this. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? So, The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. 
And we're back. I'm William Holcher, voice of Lake Area Football on Lake TV throughout the 2013 season. And we are set to kick it away here in Camdenton as Mason Bennett on senior night. He teased it up at the 40, and he is going to kick it deep to Glendale. Waiting deep. Number 28 for Glendale, Adam Thompson, as well as his counterpart, number 13, Drew Thyman. The kick is deep, and it's going to go to number 21 on the plays across the 20, across the 25 yard line. He'll be pushed out there. Tonight's broadcast is only possible due to our sponsors, including all throughout the 2013. Lake football season. We'd like to thank Chris Wagner of Farmers Insurance. We'd like to take this moment to thank you, Chris, at Farmers Insurance for being a sponsor of high school football here on Lake TV. For your insurance needs, it's contact Chris at 573-302-0001. So after the kick return up to the 25-yard line, we'll get our first look at Alex Austin, the quarterback. He's out of the shotgun for Glendale. He takes the step. He looks to his right back shoulder. This one's taken away and intercepted across the far sideline. And that's number 19, Jordan Webster. He's gonna fill in for Ryan Elliott on his first play from scrimmage. He comes up and makes a big one and Camden Tim will take over on downs right there at the 37 of Glendale. This is a very, very stingy Camdenton Laker defense. As a matter of fact, in last year's 49-0 thrashing of the Falcons in Glendale down in Springfield, the Lakers outgained Glendale 489 yards to 86. So that shows you how tough this Camdenton Laker defense was a year ago. And they are started on the right track tonight. Bodine now out of the shotgun. Burris split to his left. Dean drops back, he throws over the middle, and that's in and out of the hands of Colin Carlock. He's 10 receptions shy, we mentioned, of that record. we also like to thank the gang at Quick Car and Osage Beach for being a part of our high school football broadcast here on Lake TV this season. You can like him at Facebook at Quick Car Lake. So that's a rarity. Colin Carlock and able to pull in the first down reception, and that'll bring up a second down and 10 inside the 40-yard line of Glendale. Bodine out of the shotgun. He rolls to his right, now he's looking. He throws over, he's got Kolak in the flats. He works his way across the 35 before he's pushed out there at the 31 yard line by number 28, Adam Thompson for the Falcons. So on second down, Dean looks for Carlock again and this time they're able to convert for a gain of five. So that'll bring up third down and five here and this is our first third down attempt for the Lakers or either team. Low snap and Dean is going to be gobbled up at the 35 yard line as that looked to be a busted play from the start and that'll bring up a fourth down and eight after a loss of three. A big Lake TV thank you to the Smart Postal Center guys for being one of the sponsors of these high school football games this year. They're at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. So the Lakers look to be a little confused on that third down play and after the loss of three, they're faced with fourth and eight from the 35 yard line of Glendale. Dean out of the shotgun. 11-10 remaining here in the first quarter. Dean looks over the middle, he steps up in the pocket. Now he's being eluded by defenders. He crosses the 30, ball comes out and it's out of bounds and Babs touched it. I think that's gonna be illegal touching as the flag comes in late. If the play stands, it is good for a first down after the fumble, but we have a lot going on on this play. And it's a personal foul against the Lakers, so that'll push him back. And after converting on the fourth down and eight, that is not going to make Coach Short a happy man on the sidelines. Why they settle this one down on the field of play. We'd like to thank the gang at Save A Lot for their sponsorship of the high school football season here on Lake TV. Save A Lot, they're in Camdenton, Versailles, and Lori. So we look to. Get this one away, it's clear to me that this one's gonna be backed up, the refs talk about it. So the personal foul does go against the Lakers. 
Interesting play on fourth down and 18. He was pushed out of the pocket. He rolled through his right, and right about the time he was going to gain the first down, that ball popped free and then rolled harmlessly out of bounds. So that's going to back it up to the 39-yard line, very close to the original line of scrimmage. So actually they're going to give him the first down as the personal foul came in after the play, so it will not negate the first down yardage by Dean. So first down and 10 now, Lakers, at the 39-yard line. Glendale can ill afford to allow Camden 10 to move the ball efficiently on third down. They've got to get their defense off the field, especially if they want to stand a chance against this very high-powered Camdenton defense. So now they move the ball inside the 35-yard line. Everyone here is confused. And they'll blow it dead again. So while they get this squared away, we take a commercial break on Lake TV. You're watching Game of the Week on Lake TV. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto and Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto and Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Your car rolling down At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. So Lake TV is back here, and after the confusion, the Lakers will maintain possession of the 33-yard line, and Dean will go out of the shotgun. He's got Ensley in the backfield as well as Ryan Harris. Dean now he'll roll to his left. He's going to throw across his body looking for Carlock, who comes back. He makes the catch, puts his head down, and barrows his way to the 24-yard line. He's got nine, maybe ten yards on the reception. That's his second of the night. We'll wait for the spot, and it looks to be just shy of a first down, so nine yards on the reception. That was a nifty play as Dean rolled out and hit Carlock in the far side flat, and he had nine yards after the catch and run. So second down and one now. Dean out of the shotgun. Inslee remains back there with him. He gets the handoff. He rolls through the middle over the 15. Across, he works his way inside the 10, and he's still on his feet before being dragged down at the five yard line. That's an 18 yard gain on his first run of the night. That was an impressive run on second down. And the Lakers will have first down and goal at the five yard line. Carlock, two receptions on the night for 14 yards. He's eight shy of the school record for most receptions in a season. Now he stands at 59. Here's the first down, they hand to Ensley. He's inside and then gets pushed down about the three yard line after a modest gain of two. So that'll bring up a second down in three. Lake TV like to send out a big thank you to the gang at Laser Force Laser Tag for being a part of the high school football season this year. Laser Force, where the fun is in Osage Beach. I, of course, William Holtz here with Lake TV alongside my producer. Sean Cobert, our camera specialist Brett Tentera, and our cameraman Andrew Evans. Working diligently here as we wrap up the season here in Camden. Ten years, the inside give. And that's number 21 who gets pushed back for Camden. And Shane Cook. Funny, you saw Bo Dean go in there trying to give him an extra shove. And Cook has about a yard and a half on the second down carry. Hey, Lake TV would like to thank the guys over at Precision Tire and Auto Repair for co-sponsoring high school football this season here on Lake TV. They're on Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. 
So the Lakers now have third and goal from the one yard line. We've got 840 remaining here in this first quarter of play. Dean gives the inside give and this one still on his feet fighting but unable to get into the end zone. Who was the ball carrier? We'll wait for the pile to shuffle down and, and it's Cook again on the give and he was stopped for a gain of zero yards on the play and that's gonna bring up a fourth down and goal from the one yard line. We're on broadcasting high school football this season here on Lake TV, thanks in part to the crew over at Replay, the go-to place at the lake for video gaming and its most exciting replay on Osage Beach Parkway. So we'll see what Coach Shore draws up, fourth and goal, Dean under center. He gives the handoff to his right, that's Shane Cook for the third consecutive play and he dives into the end zone and that's good for a Camdenton touchdown. Cook now three carries on the night for three yards and that rushing touchdown and Camdenton leads six to zero here at the 747 mark in the first quarter. Senior Mason Bennett on to attempt the extra point. He has been very good as of late in that category. Bo Dean, he's in to hold. The snap is high, Dean gets the hold, gets it down in time. The kick up is up and it is good. So after the first, pos second, first possession for Camdenton, they march down the field and score a touchdown. We'd like to thank Eris's. A big thank you to the guys at Eris's Pizza and Pub for co-sponsoring high school football here on Lake TV. Eris's Pizza and Pub in Pruitt's Plaza and Osage Beach. So we stand at the 747 mark, Camdenton leads 7-0, we'll be back with the rest of this one on Lake TV. Hi, this is Jason at Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. If you're looking for a Chevrolet Buick or GMC, I have it here, conveniently located under one roof. We also have a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with an award-winning service department with ASE Master Certified Technicians to make sure your vehicle is repaired right the first time. From competitive prices on parts to a state-of-the-art paint booth and collision repair, Hewlett's can take care of any need that may arise. Visit us at shophewlett.com for more details or just stop by and see us. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. Lake TV returns down Mason Bennett, set to kick off for the Lakers from the 40 yard line. Here is the kick from Bennett. This one will sail out of bounds and we'll have an illegal procedure penalty on the Lakers. And Glendale will take over at the 35 yard line. We couldn't have brought you high school football this season without the help of JJ Twiggs. Try their new location in Deerbergs on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Shane Cook, who had that touchdown run for the Lakers, he's been featured more defensively this year. He leads the Lakers with seven sacks on the year. And on top of that, he's got 15 tackles for a loss. He's having an outstanding season defensively and adds to that offensively tonight. So Shane Cook, one of our players to watch, he's already made an impact in this game. So now here's, oh, and drug down after the fake handoff. That's a great tackle. And that's Riser in on the stop. Alex Austin faked the handoff on the read option but had no time to make a decision and that'll back the Falcons up back to the 34 yard line. It's second and 11. Out of the shotgun is Austin now. He looks to his left, he throws the quick comeback route. And that is dropped by wide receiver Drew Thyman. That was right in his bread basket and that falls harmlessly to the ground and that'll bring up a third down and 11. <laughs> so 
So on third and 11, the Camdenton defense will look to get a stop. They've been the most predominant defense so far, not just in the district, but in the conference. And they're looking to solidify themselves as one of the state's most stout defenses. Now here's the throw across. And that one pulled in this time by Thyman on the near sideline. And he has got very nearly first down yardage. He's got about 10 yards and he is a yard shy of the first down. So that'll bring up a fourth down and one and we'll see what the Falcons elect to do here. This season's scoreboard has been brought to you by Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC on North Business Route 5. In Camdenton, whether it's new or used you're looking for, you gotta look to Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC. That was a nice play. Quarterback Alex Austin looking in the direction of Drew Thyman for the second consecutive play. And this time Thyman holds on and has 10 yards. So here's fourth down and one now. Austin looking to draw the Lakers offside with a hard count. And I think it worked this time as number 56, Colby Riser jumped across it. Look, and that is tough on fourth and one. Tough penalty, and that'll be enough for a first down for Glendale. Here at Lake TV, we want to say thanks to Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center and Sunrise Beach for co-sponsoring our high school football broadcast. Call Mark if you're in pain at 207-0441 at Beck Wellness Center or just Google Beck Wellness to make an appointment. So after the penalty on Camdenton, a fresh set of downs for the Falcons, the 48-yard line. Austin now the snap, that one's on the ground and he'll fall on that back at the 41 yard line and that's an eight yard loss on first down as the quarterback in center could not connect for the successful snap and that'll push the Falcons back and they can really ill-advise or unafford to have those ill-advised plays like that that back them up especially when this Laker defense is hard nose and not giving up very many points this season hate to shoot yourself in the foot if you're Coach Overstreet's team, but it's second down and 18 now. Austin out of the shotgun. He steps back, he looks to his left. They got the quick slant set up and he overshoots his target. He was looking for number 28, Adam Thompson again. And that falls to the turf and that'll bring up a third down and 18 for Camdenton. Another one of our high school football sponsors we'd like to thank is Home Comfort Furnishings 123. Selecting new furniture is as easy as one, two, three at Home Comfort Furnishings. So it's senior night here in Camdenton, Missouri and the fans are out in full force. Excited for the Laker team to enter district playoffs. They'll get a week and a half off before they play as the one seed a week from Wednesday night right here in Camdenton. The inside draw, it's the delayed draw and that's number two, Noble Justice, but He's got very little yardage on the third down carry. That's good for about two and a half yards and Franzen in on the tackle and that'll bring up a fourth down and 18 and it looks as if the Falcons will be forced to punt again and standing back due to the injury to Ryan Elliott is Colin Carlock who already has two grabs on the night. Lakers on their first offensive possession mixing it up rather well. They had six run plays and three pass plays. Two of their nine play drive that ended in a touchdown. They kept it on the ground two thirds of the time. Here's the punt. Way back, Carlock catches that as 15, makes the first man miss, he's over the 20. Trying to get outside, he's got the edge across the 25 and down there at the 26 after a decent gain of 11 yards and Camdenton will take over right there at the 26 yard line. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Area Football only on Lake TV. Your Lake's home for Lake Area Football throughout the 2013 season. Camdenton wasting no time and getting back on the field. They start this drive at the 26 yard lines. Dean out of the shotgun now. Little swing pass into the flat. He's got Josh Martin who's across the 35. Makes a cut, he's out to the 40, now the 45. All the way up to the 50 yard line before being pushed out of bounds at the 48 yard line. And that was a really nice play on first down 
That's good for 26 yards as Martin had the grab and run for 26. First down now, Dean looks to the sideline, gets his new offensive play from Coach Shore. He now relays it to the Laker team out of the shotgun. Josh Martin in the backfield with Dean. Dean now rolls to his left. He throws, looking for Carlock, who falls to the ground and makes that grab a nice catch. He's got two yards, and that's his third catch of the night. Correction, actually that first drive was only seven plays by the Lakers. It covers 39 yards and it ended on the Shane Cook one yard touchdown. So after the two yard catch by Colin Carlock, Dean now out of the shotgun. He's looking for Carlock again and Carlock very nearly pulled that one in. That was a great hit on the play by Tyler Ross. He waylaid Carlock and jars the ball free or else Carlock would have had his fourth reception of the first quarter. It's clear to me, folks, that Bo Dean is set on his favorite target. You know, Ryan Elliott normally picks up the slack. He's had a nice season as well at the wide receiver position. And he's not playing tonight, and that means Carlock will have that much more slack to pick up. So after the incompletion now, Dean out of the shotgun. He looks in the flat. He's got Matt Ensley out of the backfield. He's across the 40. He's got first down yardage. He stays on his feet. He's inside the 20 and all the way down inside the 10 yard line. We're gonna mark him down at the seven. And that was good for 39 yards on the play. That swing pass out of the backfield is working very, very well for the Lakers. That is good for 37 yards or 36 yards and that's a big play on a third down. 350 remaining now in this first quarter. Dean out of the shotgun. Carlock top of your screen. Plethora of Camdens and Laker receivers at the bottom. Carlock now. He throws a fade in the back of the end zone for Carlock and that's off the outstretch right hand of him and that'll bring up a second down and goal from the seven. So on second down and seven, there's 338 remaining in this first quarter of play and Camdenton looking to extend their 7-0 lead here early over the Glendale Falcons. Bodine out of the shotgun, four wide receiver. Dean now cuts back to the middle of the field. He gets outside, he lowers his head and he falls forward to the one yard line. So <laughs> Dean has a run of about six yards there. So far tonight, the Lakers are two for three on third down conversions. And that's a big thing for Glendale if they're gonna stay in this ball game at all. They've gotta get off the field on third downs. Lakers already converting at 66% in this ball game. This is their fourth third down attempt. Dean out of the shotgun. Throws the inside slant, that one's good. And that's number 20, Brendan Babs, and that's good for a touchdown. Nice throw and catch. As Dean hits his wide receiver. So Camdenton leads now 13-0 at the 249 mark of this first quarter. And that was another third down converted by the Lakers. They're now three of four on the night. Mason Bennett in to attempt the point after. Dean will hold, kick is up, it is good, and the Lakers lead by a score of 14-0. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Area Football on Lake TV. We'll be back after this. 
JJ Twinks Pizza and Pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place. From antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two for one happy hour Monday through Friday from three to six. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carryout or patio dining, or enjoy full table service, beer, wine, and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs, for family fun, for late night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. Quick boat car in Osage Beach. Wash, detail, lube. And now, mobile boat detail. Hey man, you gotta see this. Isn't that beautiful? Greatest thing ever. Here, let's get closer. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all in the battle suit. Here's the fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag. Real fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. We're back here on Lake TV, and the Lakers already a demanding 14-0 lead over their district rivals, Glendale. Mason Bennett set to kick this one deep. That'll fall into the hands of Thompson. Now he catches at the three, and he's across the 20 now. He'll be taken down there at the 23-yard line. And a nice tackle right there. And that's Babs, the man who had the touchdown catch. The last drive for Camden took eight plays, covered 74 yards, and was capped off by the one yard touchdown from quarterback Bo Dean to Brendan Babs. And Glendale now looking to get something going offensively. A very little going right so far for Coach Overstreet's team in this first quarter. We've got 242 left in this first quarter. Big handoff now, here's the read option by quarterback Austin and he takes it across the 25. He has three yards before being taken down there. So on second down and seven now, Glendale. Out of the shotgun still where they have been most of the night against this Laker. D, they're 0 and 2 on third down so far. Quick pass and that's in the hands of the big tight end from his quarterback, Austin. And he finds the big man, Chandler Collins. And he's got about six and a half and he's very, very close to a first down. Just shy, so that'll bring up a third down and set and inches from the 34-yard line in the Camdenton front four will look to get a push here and try to get their defense off the field. Under center now is Austin on third and inches. He's gonna keep it himself and barrel forward and. That is very close. If you look top of your screen, your official has him marked very close to the first down marker. And they are going to give him a first down, so that's a third down conversion. For Glendale, they now have first down and 10 from the 35 yard line. It's important the Lakers are already a 14-0 lead, and that's a big first down for Glendale. I like the call by Coach Tyler Overstreet. It's safe third and inches. You really can't afford to give the ball back to Camdenton. He just gives it to his quarterback to take it right to the Lakers. And on that first down, Matt Ensley gets up and knocks that one down. So second down and 10. Talk about a Laker team that is been very successful over the years on this 
season. They are 7 1 and in the Laker football history. They carry an outstanding mark of 452 wins compared to only 126 losses, and that is unheard of at the high school level. Austin now, read option again. He's going to keep it. He has some daylight. A nice tackle right there by number 22, Elijah Allison comes up and sniffs that one and that was a good play for Alex Austin and the Falcons but that could have been a lot more yardage once he had some daylight and Allison an outstanding open field tackle on the junior quarterback Alex Austin so it's clear here in the early going Camden's going to mix it up with a nice combination of rushing and passing and besides trying to air it out they're going to keep the ball in their quarterback Alex Austin hands are the Falcons and try to let him create. So on third down and six now he throws. That one's right on his receiver and a really nice catch there by Thyman again. That's his second catch of the game and an outstanding throw by quarterback Austin. Alex Austin threw that before Thyman came out of his break. He turns around and it is right in his hands. Either catch it or you get killed and he caught the ball and Moves the chain, so back-to-back -back third down conversions for the Falcons. Getting a little bit going here offensively. And that is going to conclude our first quarter of play. So after one quarter of play, it's all Camdenton. They lead over the Glendale Falcons 14-0. You're watching exclusive coverage of Mid-Missouri Lake Area Football on Lake TV. Laser, laser Force, Force laser, laser Tag, tag Zone. Zone. Real laser tag, real fun. A great place to have parties for kids, teens, and adults. Shh. Real laser tag, real fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza. Pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris's Pizza. We've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. At Save-A-Lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot. Savings made easy. Back here on Lake TV now and on first down, Glendale's quarterback, Alex Austin is gobbled up in the backfield and that's gonna be a loss of three. Shane Cook in on the sack. That's his eighth of the season. He came in leading the Lakers with seven, and that's an impressive number. That's eight on the year for him. Cook already has a touchdown tonight, and now he adds a sack. So good game already for Shane Cook, and we have just entered the second quarter of play. Austin now looking to his left, and that one is batted down by Brendan Babs. Beautiful play. And he very nearly picked that and took it back to the house, and that's going to bring up a third down and 14. When Tyler Overstreet looked at this matchup on paper this week, he knew he had to stay out of third down in long situations, and thus far, Glendale has done that, but now they're faced with a third down and 14. They're two for three on the night on third down conversions. This one a little tougher. To gain that yardage, we'll see if the Laker defense can't come up with a stop. Austin out of the shotgun now. He takes the snap. He's under pressure. Low throw. That's incomplete. Pressure on the play. Put on the quarterback by number 49, Brigham Arnold. He came through and forced a bad throw by the quarterback, so Arnold making his presence felt on the defensive end. Hewlett Chevrolet, they've been your Lake Area dealer for three generations. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC at 513 North Business Route 5 in Camdenton. Online at shophewlett.com. That's Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC. 
Now in the punt once again for Glendale. That's number 89, Alex Wood. A short punt bounces and taken there about the number, or taken at the 35 by number 11, David Garland for Glendale. And the Lakers will take over. First down and 10 at the 35 yard line. Whether it's back, back pain, neck pain, headache pain, or if you are in any kind of pain, don't hesitate to see Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center in Sunrise Beach. Help is only a phone call away. You gotta call him 2070441 for an appointment or just Google Beck Wellness. So Camdenton has two possessions and they have two touchdowns thus far. We'll see if they can't make it three for three as they start here at their own 35 yard line. Dean out of the shotgun. Inside handoff, that's Burris. He gets outside, cuts back inside. He's up to the 45 and he'll be taken down about midfield and we have a flag back at the 36 yard line. This will probably be coming back. For fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing and business services, it's Smart Postal Center 3 or 4320 in Osage Beach Parkway in beautiful Osage Beach or on the web at smartpostalcenters.com and it's going to be a hold against the Lakers and that was an outstanding first down run but it is all for none as we back it up to the 26 yard line where the Lakers will be faced with a first down and 19. It's only the second penalty of the game for the Lakers and be nice to see the Lakers cut down on the miscues. They don't want to make a habit of that laundry flying, especially come district play, which is only a short week and a half away, Laker fans. Fakes the handoff, does Dean. He throws down the sideline. Carlock going for it, and that's going to fall incomplete. Dean overshoots Carlock on first down. So Dean now 6 for 10 on the night. In the first quarter of play, he was six for nine for 79 yards in that touchdown, and he did not turn the ball over. He rushed the ball three times, and that was good for 12 yards. After the first quarter of play, Camden 10 was three for four on third down conversions, while Glendale was one for two. Colin Carlock searching or trying to get that school record of 67 catches. He has three on the night, totaling 16 yards. So second down and 19, under center is Dean. He fakes the handoff to Burris. He's pushed outside, steps back in now. And Dean eludes a tackle. Another one stays on his feet and he'll be taken down about the line of scrimmage. So nice job by Dean to scramble away from those would-be sackers and get back to the original line of scrimmage where the Lakers will be forced to face a third and 19. Save a lot as your neighborhood grocery store fresh foods at refreshing prices. In Camden to Lori Anvers sales, save a lot when you shop at Save a Lot. So third down and 19 now the Lakers. As we mentioned, they're three for four on third downs tonight. Dean out of the shotgun. A little float pass that was going to be a screen to Josh Martin and that one was overthrown. I think we have an illegal formation. It is an illegal shift on the Lakers so the penalty will be declined and that'll bring up a fourth down and 19. So Glendale, they get a stop here defensively. First time that we'll see the Lakers punt the ball. They're in their own into the field. Hey, where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun is that Laser Force laser tag on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at Laser Force. So Carlock back to punt for the Lakers. Standing back at his own 36 yard lines, Thompson. Carlock gets a good boot into this one. Thompson comes up, calls for the fair catch and he'll make it right there about the 46 yard line where Glendale will take over first down and 10. This will be their best starting field position of the night. Offensively, they've got very little going. They've got two first downs on the night and another on a penalty. This Camdenton defense has been one of the best all year. 
Their only loss on the season coming to Kickapoo, who is 8-0, and they play Joplin tonight. That Kickapoo team was going to go ahead and win the Ozark Conference, it looks like, unless Joplin can pull off one heck of an upset. First down now. Here's Alex Austin, the quarterback keeper by design, and he gets it across up to midfield. The tackle by number 87, Eric Franzen, along with Babs for the Lakers. So four yards on first down by Camdenton. He's local, he's professional, and he's your farmer's insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris Wagner, your local farmer's insurance agent, at 573 3020001 Chris Wagner for farmer's insurance at the lake. Alex Riley now out of the shotgun. He's got five wide receivers in an empty backfield. He takes the snap, now looks to his left. Quick pass, that one's pulled in by the tight end once again, and that's good for first down yardage across the 45 down to the 43-yard line. Second time we've seen Chandler Collins, the junior tight end. He's got a big build, 6'4", 220 pounds, and that's twice we've seen him on the receiving end of a pass from quarterback Alex Austin, and that's good for a first down. So already down 14-0. I'm impressed with the way Glendale is moving the football, moving the chains. That's their third first down and only their last two possessions. And if you think that getting first downs on this Laker defense is easy, ask the seven teams the Lakers have blanked this year for very little points. Across the middle, they try the motion, and quarterback Alex Austin will keep it. Dragged down by number 56 on the play. That, of course, Colby Riser and Franzen also. And we do have a marker on the field. And an injured Falcon, that's number 77, Noah Falk. So the officials call a timeout. We have a flag on the field. We'll get all that squared away when we return on Lake TV. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway, or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. Chiropractic is about more than just back pain relief. It's the natural approach to whole body wellness. Medical studies show that chiropractic is effective for headaches, migraines, dizziness, and neck pain. Patients with auto injuries, tinnitus, jaw disorders, fibromyalgia, and shoulder pain have also found relief with chiropractic. Call our office today to learn how chiropractic can help the whole you. Ease the pain. Call Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center today. Feel better tomorrow. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto and Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto and Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Your car rolling down the road. And good to see number 77, Noah Falk walk off on his own power. So we are back here. After the penalty, it's in a hold. So first down and 20 from the 47 yard line. Austin now in the flat and Carlock very nearly had the interception off of the drop by number 21 for Glendale. Carlock very nearly pulled that in as Sean Mays was unable to pull that in. And that'll bring up a second down and 20 now for Glendale. Out of the shotgun is Austin again. Alex Austin, trip receivers, top of your screen. Here's a low snap, he rolls out, now steps up in the pocket, he throws, and right in and out of the hands 
And I think that was his tight end. No, that was Alex Wood, a wide receiver, and able to hold that. And that'd have been good for 15 yards, but Wood unable to pull that in, and that'll bring up a third down and 20. Third down defense for the Lakers. Been good this year tonight. Glendale two of three on third downs. We'll see if the Lakers D can't get a stop and get the ball back to Bo Dean and the offense. We've got eight minutes, five seconds remaining here in this first half of play. Alex Austin out of the shotgun. And it looks if we have movement on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's a false start, so we'll back it up and that'll bring a third down and 25. For multiple console video gaming, there's a new gamer in town at a new address. Replay in their new location at 4081 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check out the gaming lounge because you too will want to play. So a third down and 25 now for Glendale. They're at the 41 yard line. Low snap inside give and that's the draw the running back Noble Justice and he has Nothing going as he's taken down there by Babs in the backfield alongside number 21, Shane Cook, and that'll bring up a fourth down and 24. Carlock will go back. So we've got 7.35 remaining in this first half and Colin Carlock Back to receive the punt, and his up man, Elijah Allison, stands back as well. This one a low short kick, and that is going to be outstanding field position for the Lakers. We'll see where they spot this one. Just inside the 40-yard line out of 39, where the Lakers will take over first down and 10 there. Our drive spotlight thus far. Lakers three drives. Their first drive was seven plays, 39 yards. Capped it off with a one yard Shane Cook touchdown run, their second possession. They took it their own 26 yard line, went eight plays, covered 74 yards, and Brendan Babs, the quick slant from his quarterback, Bo Dean, in their last possession, three plays, a negative nine yards. That resulted in a punt. So we'll see if the Lakers can't get back on track here offensively. Dean under center. He's gonna give it to Burris, who's taken down there for no gain, and that'll bring up second down for the Lakers. On the season, this Lakers team has been outstanding. They have five guys that have rushed for over 100 yards on the year. Bodine, their quarterback, he has 110 yards of rushing offense. Colin Carlock has 148. And then you have three guys who have eclipsed the 300 yard mark, 300 yard mark, and we'll touch on them in just a minute. Under center now is Dean, the inside give. Now outside is Burris across the 40, up to midfield. He cuts back inside, he's up to the 40, all the way down to the 35, and there he goes, down to the 20, all the way across the 15 yard line before he is finally pushed out of bounds at the 11 yard line. And that is good for 50 yards but we do have a marker on the field. Wow. That's personal foul against the Lakers. So that'll negate a 50 yard run by Luke Burris. He was shaken up a week ago, but he's good to play obviously tonight. That was an outstanding run, but it was all for none. We're touching on those three rushers for the Lakers. You know, they're not rush happy as everyone knows, but if you have three 300 yard rushers, you're obviously mixing it up. They like to talk about the Lakers running by committee. They're talking about Luke Burris, 375 yards. Josh Martin has 343 and Matt Ensley has 317 rush yards this year. So that'll push the Lakers to the 40 yard line. It's second down and nine after the penalty, and that's a costly one. Martin, Ensley, and Burris, the ball carriers, finding the end zone nine times this year. Matt Ensley 
He has found that end zone early and often. Josh Martin, he's tumbled his way into the end zone for a score, and Luke Burris has four. Bodine coming off that huge year where he accounted for 48 total touchdowns a year ago. He comes into the Knights ball game with 16. And although that may not be as many touchdowns, he surely got to like the success this Camden and Laker team has seen this season and hopefully will continue into district play. So second down and 13 as they move it back a four, few more yards. Here's Ensley now. Can't shake off a tackler and that's an excellent play by Tyler Ross. He knocks Ensley down for a loss of three in the backfield. And that was a very nice play and that'll bring up a third down and 16 now. The Lakers are three for five on third down so far tonight. We'll see if they can't convert this one. They stand at their own 33 yard line and they have a third and 15. So Dean will line up under center here. Fakes the quick hand, it's an inside give and that one's on the ground by Ensley. He fumbles, regains, fumbles again. And that's recovered by number 82, Ruben Lopez for Glendale. So the Falcons get a turnover. They'll take over inside the 40 yard line of the Lakers. We'll have their drive right after this on Lake TV. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? So, The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach. Open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. Back here on Lake TV and following the Matt Ensley fumble recovered by Lopez of the Falcons. Glendale has it inside the 40 yard line. Alex Austin now throws quick slant that's caught by number 13. And that's Thyman again, he has three catches already tonight. That's good for eight yards on first down up to the 31 yard line and that'll bring up a second down and two. So very good play on first down for Glendale. They score here and they cut it to a one score ball game and they are right back in this one. So they're gonna give him a gain of seven. It's second and a short three. Riley out of the shotgun, and I think Thyman started early. Top of your screen, we got a false start on him, and that'll bring up a second down and eight. JJ Twiggs has a new location inside the new Deerbergs and upstairs at the Lakeview Terrace. New place, same great food, and a fantastic view of the Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twiggs at Deerbergs in Osage Beach. So it was just that, a false start. Top of your screen, Thyman, and that'll back the Falcons up. Second down and two now. Choosing new furniture as easy as one, two, three at Home Comfort Furnishings next to the Ozark Opry and Osage Beach Parkway. The Lake's only authorized Ashley Furniture Dealer. Home Comfort Furnishings, one, two, three. So second down and eight. Now we are inside of five minutes to play in this first half. Here's the option read. Quarterback pitches it to his running back in number two. The ball carrier Justice, he's got five yards up to the 31 yard line and that'll bring up a third down and three now for Glendale. Of course we talked about 
Glendale being two for three on third down. They're two for four rather, and this will be their third, third, fourth third down attempt of the night. Alex Austin, the junior quarterback, on third and three from the 31 of Camdenton out of the shotgun. He looks to his right, he throws over there, and that one is intercepted by number 19 of the Lakers, Jordan Webster, his second of the night. We talked about that in the pregame, whether or not the absence of Ryan Elliott would be too much for the Lakers to overcome. Webster steps in in his absence and has his second takeaway of the night. So I think we have our answer, folks. As good as Ryan Elliott has been, Jordan Webster says, I'm ready to fill in for my team. And the talented senior defensive back has his second interception of the night. The Lakers now first down and 10 from the 20. Dean now out of the shotgun. He throws. He has Josh Martin in the flat. He'll cut back, make the first guy miss, and he's gobbled up there by a plethora of defenders by the Falcons, and that's right back to the line of scrimmage, and that's no gain on the play. Second down and 10. Now Lakers remain out of the shotgun. Josh Martin in the backfield with Dean. Allison, Babs, Webster, and Carlock, the receivers for the Lakers. Dean now fakes the handoff. He's got a keeper. He keeps it up the middle, and he has a couple yards across. He's up to the 23-yard line. We'll give him three yards on the run, and that'll bring up a third down and seven. A really nice job the last couple of third downs by Glendale to get off the field. We'll see if they can't keep that going as Bo Dean and the Lakers face a third down and seven from the 23-yard line. Dean out of the shotgun. He now rolls to his left. He throws inside. He's got Carlock, who's across the 30, and he makes a man miss and up to the 35-yard line, and that is good for 12 yards on the catch by Carlock. That's his fourth grab of the night. And he is now just six yard, or six catches shy of tying the school record for most in a season. He has 61 already of the year. So first down for the Lakers. Dean out of the shotgun. He keeps it now, runs up the middle. He's got some room, he cuts back outside. He's across the 45 and he bulldozes his way to the 48, he's got 13 yards on the first down carry and that's good for 13 yards and another Laker first down. So Bo Dean carrying the ball effectively. He's inside, he's got 13 and that's another fresh set of downs now for the Lakers who already lead by a score of 14-0 with 2.28 remaining in the first half of play. Dean out of the shotgun, three wide receivers, top of your screen. Babs all alone at the bottom. Here's Allison across the middle on a short drag route. He makes a couple of guys miss. He cuts inside and he's down to the 35 yard line of the Falcons and that's good for 17 yards on first down. So the Lakers now getting some rhythm going through the air. That's Allison and that's his first catch of the night and that's good for 17. And the Lakers will keep this high perennial attack on the field and they're moving inside Glendale territory. They're down to the 35 yard line. Two minutes, 11 seconds remaining in this first half of play. Dean now looks to his right. He's got Carlock in the flat. He makes his first guy miss. He cuts back inside. He makes another couple of Falcon defenders miss before stepping out of bounds at the 28 yard line. So he's got seven yards there, that's his fifth catch. And he's now five receptions shy of that school record. We'll keep an eye on that as that countdown continues here in Camdenton. Well, you know he's gonna break the record, but you'd love to see him do it here on senior night in front of a sold out crowd here in Camdenton. A packed house to say the least. Fake pass, they'll give it off to Martin. He bounces back and he bulldozes ahead and he moves backwards and he stopped at the line of scrimmage. His forward progress has him at the 28 yard line where the Lakers will face a third down and three. Okay. 
So the Lakers continuing to balance their attack. They spread it out through the air and on the ground. And now a third down and three. Dean has four wide receivers. Josh Martin in the backfield. Rolling out is Dean. He's going to keep it. He's going to run for the first down. He puts his head down and he barrows his way ahead to the 16-yard line. Looks like we have a legal contact in the secondary, whether it's a defensive hold, a pass interference, or just a legal contact. This one will go against Glendale, and the Lakers have another first down. I would assume the Lakers, and that will be a holding in the secondary, just like I thought, and the Lakers will decline that penalty. They're down to the 16-yard line. That's a nine-yard tuck and run by quarterback Bo Dean, and he's had an impressive first half running the football. He's got 31 yards on the ground already to go with his good performance, and actually they'll tack the holding on top of the run. So the nine-yard first down run for Dean stands, and the Lakers are now inside the 10 yard line where they have first down and goal from the Falcons seven yard line. After converting that third down, the Lakers are now five of eight on third downs tonight. That Falcon defense having a hard time stopping the Lakers high powered offense and getting off the field. First down and goal now, Bodine out of the shotgun, four wide receivers. He's gonna roll to his left. He had a open in the end zone. He had Colin Carlock for a second. And he can't connect with him. He's taken down in the backfield for a sack. That's number 59, Max Ozer. That's a nice quarterback sack for him, and that pushes it back to the 10-yard line after a loss of two on that quarterback sack. So Dean now out of the shotgun. He's got four wide receivers in this second and goal. He rolls to his right. He cuts inside, he pump fakes, and he's gonna be taken down to the 21 yard line. And that's a sack by number 11, David Garland for the Falcons. Drags down the starting quarterback, Bo Dean, and Lakers will be faced with a third and goal way back at the 21 yard line. So Bo Dean on a third and goal from the 21, 21 yard line gets his signal. We're inside of 15 seconds to play in the first half. Lakers hoping to pitch that shutout in this first half of play. Dean now looks, he throws a fade pattern. Looking for Carlock, it's tipped and almost brought in on the deflection and that'll fall harmlessly to the ground. Number three, Dakota Bailu and number 22, Sean Mays. They had the coverage on Carlock and he very nearly brought that one in anyway. So with two seconds to play, Camden and Tim will weigh their options. They call a timeout. They have fourth and goal from the 21 with two seconds remaining in this first half. Don't go anywhere. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Area Football on Lake TV. Hi, this is Jason at Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. If you're looking for a Chevrolet Buick or GMC, I have it here, conveniently located under one roof. We also have a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with an award-winning service department with ASE Master Certified Technicians to make sure your vehicle is repaired right the first time. From competitive prices on parts to a state-of-the-art paint booth and collision repair, Hewlett's can take care of any need that may arise. Visit us at shophewlett.com for more details, or just stop by and see us. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. My name is Mike Burbank. Uh, I'm with Quick Car here in Osage Beach. We're located at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway, just a couple of blocks down from Hy-Vee Grocery Store here in Osage Beach. We are Osage Beach's only full service car wash, detail center, oil change, as well as we offer dockside boat cleaning services. Why don't you come on inside? We'll go ahead and give you a tour and show you a little bit more of what we do. My name is Mark Kronk. I'm the site manager here at Quick Car in Osage Beach. You're with me on our lube facility. Uh, where we offer full service express oil changes. We have a staff of ASC certified technicians to take care of you on your brakes. We do tire rotations, nitrogen fill for your tires, and a lot of other services. Now if you'd like to come with me, we can go over to our car wash and detail facility. I'll show you everything we do over there. 
You're sitting with me here on our detail facility. Uh, we do a lot of services here, going anywhere from interior cleaning uh, to full service detailing. We offer hand wipe downs and drying on the outside after the wash. You can add any of these services to any of our full service car washes. We also offer boat detailing where we come to your dock and we'll clean the boat right there at your dock. Now come with me over to our car wash tunnel. I'll show you why it's the number one car wash at the lake. You're with me now in our state-of-the-art car wash tunnel. We have uh, the best equipment that you can get. We have Envirosoft foam brushes that will get the car clean. We offer uh, really good soaps, our triple foam polish. We have rain -X as well that you can get on your wash. And the car wash tunnel will dry the vehicle at the end, so you can just drive in, drive out, and be on your way. And that concludes our tour. Thanks for visiting us here in Osage Beach at Quick Car Wash Detail and Lube. Uh, we also would like to let you know that we have an unlimited wash club that uh, for as little as $20 a month, you can wash your car as often as you'd like anytime. Uh, so if you'd like any more information on that or anything else I've talked about today, you can visit our website, you can call us, or you can stop on by here in Osage Beach. And Lake TV returning here at Bob Shore Stadium in Carrington, Missouri, where on senior night, the Lakers are ahead 14-0, and they're gonna try to add to that already 14-point lead here they send the offense back out on the field. They'll pass up on a 38-yard field goal attempt. This drive has already taken 10 plays. Or this will be the 10th play of the current drive that started back at the 39-yard line. They've covered 38 yards on this drive and nine plays have the Lakers. Dean now rolls out over the middle. Oh, it's in through the seam. He has his man, and that's a touchdown. Bo Dean finds Elijah Allison, the senior, over the middle, and that's good for a 21-yard touchdown to Allison, and that is an outstanding play. They put all the attention on Carlock. He drew double coverage. Bodine did a great job looking towards Carlock. The safety cheated, and that left Allison uncovered over the middle, up the seam of the field, and a beautiful ball. And holding on and taking the hit was Allison for the score. Mason Bennett on to attempt the point after it's up. It's good, and that is going to conclude our first half of play. Lakers lead 21 to 0. You're watching Lake Game of the Week on Lake TV. We'll be back right after this. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris' Pizza, we've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. JJ Twinks, Pizza and Pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place, from antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old-time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two-for-one happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carryout or patio dining, or enjoy full table service, beer, wine, and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs, for family fun, for lake night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks.
make it look like I'm talking. Hi, this is Jason at Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. If you're looking for a Chevrolet Buick or GMC, I have it here, conveniently located under one roof. We also have a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with an award-winning service department with ASE Master Certified Technicians to make sure your vehicle is repaired right the first time. From competitive prices on parts to a state-of-the-art paint booth and collision repair, Hewlett's can take care of any need that may arise. Visit us at shophewlett.com for more details or just stop by and see us. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? So, The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Lake TV's halftime coverage of Week Night's game of the week starts now. I'm William Wilson. After one half of play, the Lakers lead by a score of 21 to zero over the Glendale Falcons, and that scoring was done on two touchdown passes by Bo Dean. He's 11 for 17 on the first half. He threw for 135 yards in those two scores. And Jordan Webster filling in for the injured Ryan Elliott had himself a very nice first half. He came up with two interceptions. Both of those takeaways led to Laker touchdowns, and they're on their way up 21-0, already a two-game lead in the district, and Cameron Tennis already solidified themselves as the regular season first place team in the district and the conference crown it's going to go over to Kickapoo 
Camerton went five of nine on the first half on third downs, while Glendale went two of five, leading the way, catching the ball. Ryan or Colin Carlock, he has came into tonight's ball game just 10 receptions shy of the school record at 67 for the season. He came in with 57. The young man had five first half catches for 35 yards, meaning he's five catches shy of tying and six catches shy of breaking that record, so we'll keep a close eye on that. The scoring started on the first drive. Camerton with seven plays, 39 yards. That was capped off by a one yard Shane Cook touchdown run. Next drive took eight plays, 74 yards, and Brendan Babs was the beneficiary of a one yard touchdown catch from quarterback Bo Dean. Camerton went up 14 nothing on that play. Their third drive stalled a little bit after a penalty backed them up. They went three plays for a negative nine yards before punting, and right before the half, they took 10 plays, 59 yards, and scored a touchdown on the last play of the half from 21 yards out on a fourth down and goal. The play before, Camerton looked for their stud Colin Carlock, very nearly brought in a deflection. They ran the same look, got the safety to cheat, and that left Elijah Allison wide open over the middle, and the Lakers lead by that score of 21 to zero at the half. So we'll return with the second half of this ball game on Lake TV. You're watching Friday night's Game of the Week. Chiropractic is about more than just back pain relief. It's the natural approach to whole body wellness. Medical studies show that chiropractic is effective for headaches, migraines, dizziness, and neck pain. Patients with auto injuries, tinnitus, jaw disorders, fibromyalgia, and shoulder pain have also found relief with chiropractic. Call our office today to learn how chiropractic can help the whole you. Ease the pain. Call Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center today. Feel better tomorrow. At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. Save a lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot, savings made easy. Quick boat car in Osage Beach. Wash, detail, lube. And now, mobile boat detail. We're back here and set to kick. We have a surprise onside and I don't know if that was touched too early or not. Well, if, if you recovered at the 48-yard line, you've got to have a legal touching as the ball has to go 10 yards. So there's no way you can give him the ball at the 49-yard line. There has to be an illegal touching penalty, and it'll be Camerton's ball at the 49-yard line as we start this second half of play. <laughs> Glendale trying the surprise onside and it backfires and the Lakers will start with great field possession to start this second half of play. So your first half stats, Bodine 11 of 17 for a buck 35 and two scores. He did not turn the ball over. We'll see if he can add to that here. At Hewlett Chevrolet, they've been your Lake Area dealer for three generations, Hewlett Chevrolet. Buick GMC at 513 North Business Route 5 in Camdenton or online at shophewlett.com. They have huge selection for your car buying needs. First play of the second half now. Dean under center. He pump fakes. Now throws up field. Colin Carlock pulls it down. The stiff arm. He's inside the 20. Cuts back to the 15. Across the field. Inside the 10. To the 5. He battles his way to the end zone in the first play of the second half. It's a 49-yard score, and Colin Carlock was outstanding on that one. That's his sixth catch of the night. And if you're Camden 10, you really couldn't have scripted a much better first or second half possession to start this one as Carlock makes a whole slew of defenders miss, and Camden 10 leads 27-0. Extra point by Mason Bennett, it's up 
And it's good, so the Lakers extend their lead. It takes just one play for them to do so as Colin Carlock and Bodine hook up for a 49-yard touchdown. Dean's third of the night. We're gonna go to commercial. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Area Football on Lake TV. JJ Twinks. Pizza and pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant, where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place, from antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old-time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two for one happy hour Monday through Friday from three to six. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carry out or patio dining or enjoy full table service. Beer, wine and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs for family fun, for late night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. We're back here on Lake TV. I'm William Holtz, and the Lakers waste no time getting on the scoreboard here in this second half. It takes one play covering 49 yards as Carlock makes the highlight reel touchdown reception. And Bennett now set to kick. It's an end over end kick, bouncing there at the 10, and that'll go into the end zone for a touchback. So nice kick by senior Mason Bennett. Young man is four for four on the night on extra point attempts, and that's a good way to go out on your last home regular season football game. So taking over at the 20 yard line will be Glendale. Whether it's back pain, neck pain, or headache pain you're suffering from, or shoot, any kind of pain, you got to see Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center in Sunrise Beach. Helps only a phone call away at 207-0441 for an appointment or Google Beck Wellness. So here's now Alex Austin out of the shotgun. He looks to his left. He's got his man, and that's number 13, Drew Thyman. That's his fourth reception of the night. This one good for six yards. And that'll bring up a second down and four for the Falcons now. For fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services, it's Smart Postal Center. They're located at 4320 in Osage Beach, Parkway in Osage Beach. We're on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. Make a smart decision with Smart Postal Centers. Out of the shotgun now, the fake handoff is Alex Austin fakes the handoff. He'll keep it, and he'll be... Upended there by a Laker defender. And that's Eric Franzen in on the tackle for the Lakers. That gain goes for one yard and that's gonna bring up a third down and four now for Glendale. Glendale was two for five on third down conversions in the first half. The Lakers did a nice job of getting off the field on third downs. We'll see if they can't keep that trend going here. Austin out of the shotgun. He's gonna keep it up the middle. He bounces off a would-be tackler and the ball's on the ground. And I think that Glendale was able to fall on it. After the first down yardage was gained, Austin had the ball jarred out from behind by Matt Ensley on the hit, forcing the fumble. And very fortunate are the Falcons. They fell on that one. It looked like Harry Kaiser, the sophomore receiver, recovering that one, and they've got a first down. So they do move the chains on their first set of downs. They've got first down and 10 from the 31-yard line. Alex Austin out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers, two bottom of your screen, one top of your screen. Lakers showing blitz, and here they come. Austin gets rid of it, a little hook and ladder play, and a very nicely designed play as the catch was made by Drew Thyman on the quick pass. He didn't waste any time to throw it to Noble Justice behind 
where he caught it for a little hook and ladder, and that's good for 12 yards and a first down for Glendale as they reach in their bag of tricks. That's Coach Tyler Overstreet with the call and a good one there, and we've got a first down and 10 now for Glendale. Out of the shotgun is quarterback Alex Austin. That's where Glendale's been all night. Alex Austin now under pressure. He shakes a would-be tackler and then taken down there by number 90 of the Lakers. He almost had the first sack and also in there is Eric Franzen. That's a sack for the young man who's having himself a nice ball game defensively. That's his fifth tackle on the night and that's his first sack and that'll bring up a second down and 13. Call it clean for professional car and boat detailing. Visit Quick Car at 3730 in Osage Beach at Osage Beach Parkway. Home of the Unlimited Car Wash. You can like them on Facebook at Quick Car Lake. Pass over the middle, incomplete, defended there by Colin Carlock. Looking for his tight end was quarterback Austin. He was looking for Chandler Collins, who already has a couple of grabs on the night, and that's going to bring up a third down and 13. Save a lot is your neighborhood grocery store, fresh foods at refreshing prices, and Camden and Lori Anver sales. Shop at Save a Lot so you too can save a lot. So third down and 13, Austin out of the shotgun. We're at 9-12 remaining in this third quarter. He's under pressure, he throws across his body through the hands of Matt Ensley and then off the hands of Alex Wood. Well, it'll fall harmlessly to the ground right there and the Lakers have forced another punting situation as they're gonna force Glendale now to bring out their punting unit. So a nice job right through the hands of Matt Ensley very nearly had an interception so standing back at his own 20 yard line to receive the kick, Colin Carlock, he had that impressive touchdown catch a minute ago. He's at his own 20. And here's the kick and this one may be returnable. He's gonna take it inside his own 25, makes the first man miss, now tries to get outside on a stiff arm. He does across the 30, up to the 40. Now he's the 45 and he'll be taken down by a horse collar. And that one will be called across midfield. So we'll have offsetting penalties. It looks like they'll re-kick. And that was an impressive return by the young man. Colin Carlock caught it just at the 25 and took it all the way to the 29 yard line. He had 40 or 23 yards on that return. Lake area businesses don't hesitate to reach out to Lake TV if your business is interested in sponsoring Lake area basketball for the 2013-2014 Lake area basketball season. For great package ideas, contact Lake TV to get on our sponsorship list. It's gonna be an excellent year of Lake basketball and we'll have it for you here on Lake TV to contact someone at Lake TV, talk about your business needs with advertising. Call 573-552-8832 to talk to Lake TV. After the penalties, I'm not sure what they're going to call. The officials are huddling while we've got this opportunity. I'd like to give a shout out to Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun's at Laser Force Laser Tag on Osage Beach Parkway. The fun starts at Laser Force. And big groups, you're welcome at Laser Force, so don't hesitate to call and get your big group, whether you're on a church event, a school event, or you got a big group of friends just wanting to go on an outing, call Laser Force, Laser Tag Zone in Osage Beach. So the hold is at the 29 yard line. That was a 10 yard penalty. And then you have personal foul, horse collar penalty. So the difference is five yards. They'll spot the ball at the 34 yard line where the Lakers will take over. Their last drive took one play, covered 49 yards, and that was Colin Carlock's sixth catch of the night. He is now just four catches shy of Camdenton's single season reception record. We've touched on that all night. And I would like to guess Bo Dean will probably be looking for him often on this possession. Dean out of the shotgun. Now we've got eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Rolling to his left now is Dean. 
He rolls back. He throws. He's got Carlock, and Carlock can't pull it in. He was looking ahead of himself. He would have had a lot of yards, and that's Carlock's second ball he had a play on tonight. And young man, one of, if not states, the state's most impressive receivers we've seen. I, you know, I've got to put Colin Carlock atop my list of most impressive receivers I've seen. Of course, you have Dylan Jeffries and Osage, but he did not quite have the production this year. He did a year ago in the spotlight, and Osage has been more on their tight end. The junior, Jake Ulmer, who has had a breakout season. Anyway, after the drop, it's second down and 10. Dean now throws. He's got his man. It's Carlock who reaches up and makes the catch. He's across his way all the way to the 40-yard line. So impressive play on second down and 10. And this one goes from the 34 all the way to the 40-yard line. So 26 yards on that hookup. That's to Carlock. So Carlock now just three receptions shy of that coveted record. And any record you talk about is always nice, but especially at a storied high school such as Camden, so many great players have come through the program. It'd be a great record for the young man to hold. Dean now rolling out of the pocket. He fakes the throw. He throws now, and he's got his man. And that's Webster making his way across the 35 and being swung forward to the 31-yard line. He has nine yards on that first down play. So Dean starting the second half, three of four for 84 yards and a touchdown. He's having a good second half to go with that excellent first half. He already has three touchdown tosses on the night. So with eight minutes remaining, the Lakers lead 28-0 and they're faced with a second down in inches. Here at the 31, and Dean will line up under center. He's got Josh Martin in the backfield. Dean now steps up, and he throws just shy, looking for Colin Carlock on the near sideline, and that'll bring up a third down and in inches. For all your insurance needs, call Chris Wagner at Farmers Insurance. Call for a quote. He's local, he's professional, and he's your Farmers Insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris at 302-0001. That's Farmers Insurance at Lake of the Ozarks. So third and inches now, and Josh Martin will lead the way for Luke Burris in the backfield as Bodine lines up under center. He's going to give to Burris. He's going to burrow forward. He's got the first down and then some. He's up to the 27-yard line, and Burris has three yards. That's only his second carry of the night. He had one that went for nearly 30 yards in the first half. That was called back on the hold. So Burris hasn't been real involved in the offensive game plan thus far tonight. And on third and inches, the Lakers convert the first down and they are faced with first down and 10 now at the 26 yard line of Glendale. Out of the shotgun is Dean now. He's gonna look across the sideline looking for Carlock who makes the catch. And he's pushed out there at the 19 yard line. We'll call it the 20 and now two flags fly in late. We'll wait for this as Carlock had the catch for six yards and then a little bit of extracurricular activity after the play drew two flags from the official. Carlock now with eight catches on the night. That's going to be a personal foul against the Falcons. So Glendale already finding themselves down 28 to 0. They got their backs against the wall here. And they have a penalty. You know, these kids have to be frustrated. They're 1 and 7 on the season. They're 4 and 16 over the last 20 ball games. And this is not looking good thus far in this second half. That's going to move the ball inside the 10 yard line where Bo Dean and his high-powered offense breaks the huddle. They've got first and goal from the 10, and we are now at the seven minute, five second mark in this second half of play. This is the third quarter. Dean now out of the shotgun. He takes the snap, looks for his left, 
He escapes a would-be tackler, now cuts back across, and he's going to be taken down there. In on the tackle is number 34, Josh Ballard, the senior linebacker, takes him down. And nice run here on first down. It's good for one yard. Dean looking in the flat for Carlock. He was covered up nicely by Glendale. They've done a nice job. Even though he does have eight catches on the night, they've done a nice job of minimizing the damage with the exception of that 49-yard touchdown. Now we have another personal foul call against the Falcons, so that'll give half the distance to the goal and another fresh set of downs for Camden. They have first down and goal now from the five-yard line. This drive thus far is good for six yards. And they have it inside the five now. Bodine out of the shotgun. He's got Matt Ensley and Josh Martin in the backfield with him. He looks to his right. He throws for the end zone looking for Carlock and that one's broken up on the near sideline. That's number 28, Adam Thompson breaking it up and that falls to the ground and that's gonna bring up a sec third down in goal now. Inside the five, so the personal foul is not an automatic first down. Six thirty-five remaining. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. Tonight's broadcast featuring the Glendale Falcons from Springfield and the hometown Camdenton Lakers who are having their way with this Falcon team. Third down and goal now. Dean out of the shotgun. He rolls to his right. He's going to throw for Carlock. He has it into the end zone. That's a touchdown. His second of the night and 10th on the season. And that is good for a four-yard touchdown. This is the second consecutive week that Bo Dean has thrown for four touchdowns. He is having an excellent night. As he is tearing up the opposing defenses the last few weeks. 34 to zero, Camden to now with 628 remaining in this third quarter of play. Bodine in to hold the extra point. Mason Bennett on to attempt the extra point to hold the kick, it's wide left. No, it's not, it's through the upright and it's good. So the Lakers tack on the extra point. Senior Mason Bennett's five for five in that category. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area business center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto and Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto and Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Your car rolling down Laser, laser Force, Force laser, laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag, real fun. A great place to have parties for kids, teens, and adults. Shh. Real laser tag, real fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Lake TV returning here in Camden, Missouri, where the hometown Lakers are having their way 
with the visiting Glendale Falcons. I'm William Holtz, your voice for Lake Area Football on Lake TV. And here's the boot from Bennett. Fair catch called for and made by tight end very wisely inside his own 25-yard line. Chandler Collins will make the fair catch, and the Falcons will start there at their own 25-yard line. They've been voted number one at the lake. That's Precision Auto. Precision Auto Repair is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto. They can be found at 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. So Glendale takes back over. They've got the ball at their own 25-yard line. Alex Austin out of the shotgun. He's going to keep it and he's going to be drugged down there for a quarterback sack and that's Alex Wilson in on the quarterback sack he takes down Alex Austin behind the line of scrimmage for a couple yard loss and second down and 12 upcoming for Glendale it is getting chilly here in Camdenton fans out in full force but they've got their blankets their jackets their earmuffs among other things as they are watching their first place Camdenton Lakers have their way tonight with these Falcons. Second down now, quarterback Alex Austin rolls out, throws across his body and finds his man, Drew Thyman, who pulls the reception in just out of the reach as Alex or Elijah Allison very nearly knocked that one down. And that's good for 10 yards on the completion on second down and that'll bring up a third down and two for Glendale. Have the ball thrown 32 yard line. They've had the ball inside of Camden territory just one time tonight. And the Lakers looking to move to eight and one and they'll get a week and a half off before they open up district play right here in Camden. And that snaps on the ground. Covered up by Alex Austin. I'm not sure if that was a designed quarterback draw or if there was a fumble on the play. Nonetheless, Austin stopped for no gain, and that'll bring up a fourth down and one. So, and able to connect there, and the third down struggles continue for Glendale. They're now just three of eight on the night on third down conversions, and that'll bring in their punt unit. They've got a huge selection of video games, video game consoles, and everything else you need for your video game means that's Replay video games in Osage Beach. Carlock now back to take this punt. That one's going to be short. It's going to bounce inside the 40, take a Glendale bounce, and it'll be down inside the 25-yard line. Now replay for multi-console video gaming. They're at a new address, 4081 at Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. You can check out the gaming lounge because you too will want to play. So that's a good punt there, Lakers. Lakers will take over inside their own 25 with 350 remaining. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. My name is Mike Burbank. Uh, I'm with Quick Car here in Osage Beach. We're located at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway, just a couple of blocks down from Hy-Vee Grocery Store here in Osage Beach. We are Osage Beach's only full service car wash, detail center, oil change, as well as we offer dockside boat cleaning services. Why don't you come on inside? We'll go ahead and give you a tour and show you a little bit more of what we do. My name is Mark Kronk. I'm the site manager here at Quick Car in Osage Beach. Here with me on our lube facility uh, where we offer full service express oil changes. We have a staff of ASC certified technicians to take care of you on your brakes. We do tire rotations, nitrogen fill for your tires, and a lot of other services. Now if you'd like to come with me, we can go over to our car wash and detail facility. I'll show you everything we do over there. You're sitting with me here on our detail facility. Uh, we do a lot of services here, going anywhere from interior cleaning uh, to full service detailing. We offer hand wipe downs and drying on the outside after the wash. You can add any of these services to any of our full service car washes. We also offer boat detailing where we come to your dock and we'll clean the boat right there at your dock. Now come with me over to our car wash tunnel. I'll show you why it's the number one car wash at the lake. You're with me now at our state-of-the-art car wash tunnel. We have uh, the best equipment that you can get. We have EnviroSoft foam brushes that will get the car clean. We offer uh, really good soaps, our triple foam polish. We have Rain-X as well that you can get on your wash. 
and the car wash tunnel will dry the vehicle at the end so you can just drive in, drive out, and be on your way. And that concludes our tour. Thanks for visiting us here in Osage Beach at Quick Car Wash Detail and Lube. Uh, we also would like to let you know that we have an unlimited wash club that uh, for as little as $20 a month, you can wash your car as often as you'd like anytime. Uh, so if you'd like any more information on that or anything else I've talked about today, you can visit our website, you can call us, or you can stop on by here in Osage Beach. Back here on Lake TV and the Lakers get it back now at the 23 yard line. Their first two drives of the second half have ended in Colin Carlock touchdown catches. He is just one. Oh, and here we go as that one's behind the line of scrimmage. Just a run for Carlock. He's across the 35 and he'll be taken down there and that's gonna be a run for 11 yards. Carlock, nine catches on the night. He is just one shy of that, tying the school record. Don't be confused, that was a backwards lateral, so that won't count as the record tire. We've got 2.48 remaining. The mercy clock is running. Bodine under center now. Josh Martin in the backfield with him. They're gonna try it again, Carlock now. This one is a catch. So that one is the record tire, folks. His 10th catch of the night is 67th of the season. And Colin Carlock has now tied the single season mark for receptions in a season with 67. So congratulations to the senior wide receiver and defensive back who has been blowing away the competition and media all year here in mid-Missouri. That's impressive, that's good for four and a half yards. He's now got 10 catches, 124 yards. And it looks like Jeff Shore is gonna take a delay of game that way. There. Well, they are already celebrating the single season reception leader. I think they believe that first one was a pass, although it was a lateral, but nonetheless, celebrating his 11th catch of the night. That means the young man has 11 catches for 146 yards and two touchdowns on the night. And an absolutely outstanding performance for the young man, and they made sure they let him break that record on back-to-back -back plays. And you gotta see it right here on Lake TV, folks. The senior receiver doing what no other Laker has done in the history of the program, and that's hauling in 68 passes. And this season is still young for this Laker team as they'll play at least one, you gotta think two district games, and the rest is up to them. So this young man could smash that record by the time it's all said and done with. And a class act by Coach Shore to take a delay of game or call a timeout and let this crowd Give it up for the young man who set the record. His teammates rush on the field to congratulate him. And you just love to see that at any level, especially at this level. So after the four yard catch and run, the Lakers have it second down and six from the 39 yard line. Carlock now out of the game. It looks like they may keep him on the sideline and try to keep him healthy. The pitch now to Burris outside. He gets a good block outside. He cuts back inside, runs into his own guy, and then he's taken down there at the 44-yard line. That's good for 15 yards for Burris, and that's a good run on second down and six, and that'll reset the sticks here. And Mercy Clock running, fresh set of downs. We're getting close to entering the fourth quarter of play. For the coldest drinks in town, JJ Twigs has a new location inside the new Deerbergs and upstairs at the Lake View Terrace. New place, same great food, and a fantastic view of the Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs at Deerbergs in Osage Beach. And that view is something to see, folks, at JJ's, their new location at the Lake View Terrace. If you haven't had an opportunity to look, you gotta go see that. Meanwhile, Burris sneaks through and there he goes. Across the 30, he's up to the 20, inside the 10, and he'll be pushed out about the nine yard line. That's another big gain. 
right there. 35 yards by Burris and in two carries, the young man has 51 yards after being held relatively quiet through the first three quarters of play. Choosing new furniture as easy as one, two, three at Home Comfort Furnishings next to the Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. They have a huge selection and they're the lake's only authorized Ashley Furniture dealer. Home Comfort Furnishings at Lake, at lake Ozark. Buying furniture from Home Comfort Furnishings is easy as one, two, three. Dean now under center on first and goal. He gives it off to his tailback number 40. Pushes across and he'll be stopped just shy, just when it looked like John Payne, the senior tailback, would find his way into the end zone. He stopped inside the one yard line. So after three quarters of play, the Camerton Lakers lead Glendale by a score of 35 to zero. We'll have the fourth quarter after a brief commercial break. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris's Pizza, we've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. Chiropractic is about more than just back pain relief. It's the natural approach to whole body wellness. Medical studies show that chiropractic is effective for headaches, migraines, dizziness, and neck pain. Patients with auto injuries, tinnitus, jaw disorders, fibromyalgia, and shoulder pain have also found relief with chiropractic. Call our office today to learn how chiropractic can help the whole you. Ease the pain. Call Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center today. Feel better tomorrow. We're back here on Lake TV and the Lakers knocking on the door yet again as we start this fourth quarter. They're looking to add to their already 35 to zero lead here as Dean's under center, second down and goal. He gives it to Payne inside and the senior finds the house from one yard out. So John Payne, the senior tailback, finds the end zone on senior night and where would you rather be than right here, right now, Mr. Payne. He scores and the Lakers now lead 41 to zero. And as this fourth quarter of play gets underway, and Mason Bennett, who's been brilliant on the night, he'll come on and attempt his sixth extra point, or seventh extra point. No, it'll be sixth extra point of the night. Into hold number 25 for the Lakers, Kale Worthis. The kick, or worse, Kale Worse, he gets the hold. The kick is up. It's good, and Mason Bennett connects. So the Lakers lead 42 to 0. We'll be back with the rest of this one on Lake TV. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto and Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto and Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Your car rolling down With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. And we're back and look at the fans on their feet. The flag girls run with the flags and the Lakers are on their way to their eighth win of the season. I'm William Holtz and this is Lake TV's coverage of Lake Area football here in Camdenton, Missouri. And although the football season is about to end, basketball season right around the corner and Lake TV will have mid-Missouri coverage throughout the 2013-14 season. And for you businesses, in the Versailles, Lori, Camdenton, Sunrise Beach, Osage Beach, Elvin area. Call Lake TV at 552-8832 for your sponsorship needs. We'd love for you to join our team 
as we prepare for the basketball season right around the corner. So Mason Bennett now set to kick. It's a high end over end kick. Tight end comes up, he makes the play at the 20. He makes a couple guys miss across the 30 and taken down at the 31 yard line is Chandler Collins. That's where Glendale will take over at their 31 yard line. Randy. Randy. Hewlett Chevrolet, they've been your lake area dealer for three generations. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC at 513 North Business Route in Camdenton. Shop online at shophewlett.com. That's Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC as they have huge selection at Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC. So on first down now, Alex Austin out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff, now throws. He's got his man in the flat across the 40 and taken down there. Is number 24, David Odomayo, and he's got first down yardage up to the 42 yard line. And he's taken down there by number 43 for the Lakers, Ryan Harris in on the stop. Randy. Beck Wellness Center for back pain, neck pain, or headache pain. You've got to see Dr. Mark Beck at Beck Wellness Center in Sunrise Beach. Helps only a phone call away at 207-0441 for an appointment, or you can Google Beck Wellness. He is your nutrition specialist. Out of the shotgun now is Alex Austin. He throws in and out of the hands of tight end. And that's Collins again. He had that one in and out of his mitts, and that'll fall incomplete to the ground now. So second down and 10 upcoming, and we are inside of 11 minutes to play. We've got 10.08. Remaining, pitching a shutout is the stout Camdenton defense. They've been tough all year and they continue to prove their worth tonight. So they're in the 3-3 three, three defense with a strong safety back. Now Alex Austin on the shotgun, he rolls out to his left. He's got some running room, he's gonna tuck it and run it, cut back inside. And Falls about midfield, so nice run on the play by Alex Austin, the junior quarterback, filling in. And this Glendale team having a tough go about. They lost their starting quarterback, Tyler Marion, a couple weeks ago. And last week, their star tailback, Josh Buchanan, he's knocked out for the season as well. So as the old saying goes, when it rains, it pours. And that's the case for Glendale Falcon football this season. So third down and two, Glendale struggling on third down tonight. They're one for three in the second half. Alex Austin now out of the shotgun, he fakes the handoff, he's gonna keep it, he's across midfield, he has the first down, across the 45 and he's taken down there and waylaid at the 41 yard line and a late block by number 24 of the Lakers. Could have drawn a flag but it doesn't and coach Jeff Shore has to be happy with the way his team has played tonight. His team well on their way to a, a W. He's standing on the silo with Coach Machino, the offensive line coach for this tough Camdenton team. And his team is well on their way to an eight and one regular season mark. Here's the quick pass in the flat and that falls incomplete and Thompson and able to haul that one in. And I tell you folks, Alex Austin, he's had a tough night, but he's had five or six balls in and out of receiver's hands that should have been caught, so his receiver's doing him no favors tonight. Hey, you make a smart selection at Smart Postal Centers for fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services. It's Smart Postal Center at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach or on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. So Austin now out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers for him. He takes the snap now. Blitz showing and maybe movement. Fakes the handoff. Austin rolls out. He throws and picked off by Franzen right there. So nice catch by. That wasn't Franzen. That was Riley Shriver. The sophomore defensive end coming up and making the interception the third time. The Lakers have picked up Alex Austin on the night. So the Lakers will take over on down or take over after the takeaway at the 45 yard line. 
At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway, or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. Hey, call it clean, but Quick Car for professional car and boat detailing. Visit Quick Car at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, home of the Unlimited Car Wash Club. Keep it clean with Quick Car. Under center now, Bo Dean remains in the ball game. No, that's not Dean, that's backup quarterback number five in there and the ball carrier number 42. Zach Ensley, younger brother of Matt, and that's Tyler McDuffie, the junior, taking the rep, so that'll shut the door on the night for quarterback Bo Dean. So after the one yard gain by Ensley, under center now, McDuffie and the ball's on the ground. And it's a turnover recovered there by number 34 of Glendale. Josh Ballard picks that one up. And so the Lake their second unit in to get some reps. And they turn the ball over. So Glendale will take back over. As the clock continues to run here, we're going to take a short commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Area football on Lake TV. Hey man, you gotta see this. Isn't that beautiful? Greatest thing ever. Here, let's get closer. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all in the battle suit. Here's the fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag, real fun. Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Lot, we know every dollar means a lot. We make it easy to save on the things you need. Not aisle after aisle of products that you don't. So you save up to 40% on every trip. Save a lot. Savings made easy. So we're back here and Camden 10 turns the ball over. That's their second turnover of the night, both coming of the fumble variety. This one all over though as they leave 42. Nothing the high snap bobbled by and now number eight outside, that's quarterback Alex Riley, and he's across the 40 to the 39 yard line, or Alex Austin, the quarterback, he made nothing of a play that could have gone nowhere, so seven yards on the play. Get your fresh food at Save A Lot, they're your neighborhood grocery store, fresh foods at refreshing prices. And Camden and Lori Amber sales, Save A Lot, where you'll save a lot. So Alex Austin, a tough night, he makes a nice play there and has seven yards across the 40 yard line. Another high snap. Here's the handoff to Joey Tucker and he's taken down in the backfield. Leading the way for the Lakers is Josh Murdoch, the junior defensive lineman. He gets back there and blows that play up and that'll bring up a third down here for Glendale. Not much time remaining in this one. The Lakers 
leading big time. They'll get a week and a half off before playing the winner of the Waynesville and another team's game. That one yet to be determined, but they'll get the winner of the lower seed game. Camden is obviously winning the district regular season crown anyway. Outside is number six, the ball carrier. He's got nine yards, and that's Joey Tucker once again. Mm -hmm. Nice carry there. Camden obviously in a prevent defense. That stuff will go all night long. Where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun's a laser force laser tag on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at laser force. Big groups are always welcome to laser force, whether it's a church outing, a business outing, or just a big group of friends call laser force, laser tag zone, and get your group as they love big groups. Here's the pitch now outside. Running the rock again, that's number six, Tucker, and he's taken down there by number 14 of the Lakers, Seth Crockett. And on the tackle with him, number 23, Ethan Pineda. They both in there on the stop for the Lakers, and that's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down and 14. Call Chris Wagner, he's local, he's professional, and he's your farmer's insurance agent at the lake. Call him at 302-0001 for Farmers Insurance at the lake. You can call him for a quote. That's Chris Wagner with Farmers Insurance. The high snap now pulled down by Austin. He throws the out route and just overshoots his intended target. Looking for receiver Dakota Peterson. Coverage by Eric Franzen on the near side. Actually, number 37, Riley Shriver on the coverage. And that's going to bring up a third down and 14. Glendale continues to struggle on third down. So third down and 14. We're inside of two minutes to play now. Out of the shotgun is Alex Austin. He's got four wide receivers. Camdenton looking to keep this shutout going. Austin now the option. He's going to run into a wall of defenders, and he'll be taken down there by a handful of Laker defenders, including number 36, Trevor Smith, 14, Crockett, as well as Trevor Smith at 41. Jimmy Sanders in on the tackle as well. So a minute and a half remaining. After this one's over, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll have your player of the game. Colin Carlock with a post-game interview. We'll try to talk to head coach Jeff Shore after the game. So we'll have a lot more for you from Lake TV after the game. So don't go anywhere. Fourth down and 14 now. Alex Austin, he throws, and that is caught down the far sideline by number nine. Wide receiver Cameron Cook makes the catch, and he's across the 15-yard line down to the 12. And that's good for 26 yards on fourth down and 12. And now Glendale threatening to get rid of the shutout, which Camden has had through three and four fifths quarters of play tonight. They're hoping to keep it going. We've got 35 seconds remaining. 42-0 Camdenton. Here's Austin. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to tuck and run. He gets outside. He walks into the end zone and he scores for Glendale. So the shutout is no more, and that cuts into the 42 lead. It's 42-6, and a little consolation for the junior quarterback, Alex Austin, who's played his heart out tonight. That one was good from 12 yards out. So a nice job by Glendale to get down the field and prevent a goose egg from being in the scorebook. It's a great way to end the year, getting a score and... Hopefully you can build on that in the offseason if your coach Tyler Overstreet, his team came in and fought hard tonight but just overmatched by a superior Laker team. So they'll try the two-point conversion now. Alex Austin throws over looking for the slant. Incomplete, knocked away on the play by number two, Alec Burris. Nice play, he was looking for Cameron Crook was quarterback Alex Austin. So Glendale does get on the board, they trail the hometown Camerton Lakers, 42-6. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. 
At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? What's up? The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Deep. That'll be taken there at the 15-yard line by number 24 of the Lakers, Jacob Wise, and he's across the 30 all the way up to the 34-yard line, and the clock will continue to run, and Camdenton won't even have to take a snap. So the final score from tonight's ball game, 42-6. The Camdenton Lakers beat Glendale. Fireworks are going off here at Bob Shore Stadium. Lakers get their eighth win of the season. They're eight and one. As you continue to watch the fireworks blow out our players of the game tonight, Bo Dean, he goes 16 of 25, 229 yards. He tosses four touchdowns on the night and he does not turn the ball over. Wide receiver Colin Carlock, 11 catches, 136 yards and two touchdowns. Those are your two players of the game tonight. Camdenton does a nice job of mixing the pass and rush. They move to eight and one while the Glendale Falcons, they conclude their season at one and eight. They'll be done for the year. The Camdenton Lakers, not so much. They'll take a week and a half off before they start district play. You're watching Lake Area Football on Lake TV. We'll be right back after this. JJ Twinks. Pizza and pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant, where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place, from antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old-time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two for one happy hour Monday through Friday from three to six. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carry out or patio dining or enjoy full table service. Beer, wine and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs for family fun, for late night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. Lake TV's coverage continues. I'm William Holtz here with star quarterback <laughs> Bo Dean. Big night tonight. Bo, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. 16 to 25 on the night, 228 yards and four touchdowns. Consecutive weeks you've thrown for four touchdowns. What was the key tonight in being so successful through the air? Uh, receivers ran great routes. Colin obviously always does. Getting a lot of catches and we had a lot of motivation to break that record. It's got to be a lot of fun to play for an offensive line that gives you that kind of protection. And when you got all these weapons, it's a lot of fun. Were you worried not having Ryan Elliott out there tonight? A little bit because he, he's probably the second most, he gets the second most catches. And uh, we throw to Colin a lot, but then after that, I haven't thrown to those guys very much, so they stepped up a lot this this game. Well, Lakers win tonight by a score of 42 to six over Glendale. They improved to eight and one. They'll await their district foe for a week and a half away. Bo Dean, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We're here with wide receiver Colin Carlock, who breaks the single season reception mark at Camdenton. Had a huge game tonight, Colin. What made you so successful tonight? I'd say the linemen, they protected Bo great and gave him enough time to get it up to me, and Bo threw an awesome pass tonight. Now, you don't ever root for a teammate to be out of a game, but you come into this one 10 receptions shy of the record. Did you feel like you had a better chance to getting the record without Ryan Elliott being in there? Uh, like, I miss him and all, but like it probably did help a little bit with the record. I'm not going to lie, but I, I still love him as a receiver, and I'd want him on the field any day with me. Young man goes for 11 catches. 141 yards and two scores. What was going through your mind on your, you guys opened the first half on that 49 yarder as you made the whole team miss? What were you thinking on that play? That play, uh, I was like, uh, let's kick to the end zone. I beat my two receivers. I was like, might as well go for it. All right, this is Colin Carlock, stud receiver, has a huge night, breaks the single season reception mark at Camdenton. 
on the way to a 42-6 win. The Lakers finish the season 8-1. They'll play districts in a week and a half right here. Thank you, young man. This is the most impressive you. receiver Lakes TV has seen this year. Can't wait to cover you guys in districts. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be back right after this. Lake TV's coverage continues. We'll have wrap-up and a post-game coaches interview on Lake TV. Very cool. Hi, this is Jason at Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. If you're looking for a Chevrolet Buick or GMC, I have it here, conveniently located under one roof. We also have a large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with an award-winning service department with ASE Master Certified Technicians to make sure your vehicle is repaired right the first time. From competitive prices on parts to a state-of-the-art paint booth and collision repair, Hewlett's can take care of any need that may arise. Visit us at shophewlett.com for more details or just stop by and see us. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC in Camdenton. And Lake TV here, I'm William Holtz, head coach Jeff Shore. Big win tonight, coach, 42-6, congratulations. Thanks a lot, really appreciate it. What was the key in stopping a Glendale offense tonight that was banged up, but you guys were dominant defensively? What was key to that? You know, we played really good defense all year long. I mean, we have absolutely uh, gotten after it. Our guys up front, um, you know, you've got to bring them Arnold up there, and you got Will Smith, and you got Taz, our nose guard. Those guys have really been our, our you know, the, the rock solid part of that defense as far as setting the tone, you know, getting off line of scrimmage. Center linebackers have played really well. Cookie and Franson have played good, and our outside linebackers. Babsy and Inslee and it played great. And then we've great corner coverage. You know, we've got the ball hawk number 12 in the middle sitting there. you got Elijah Allison on one corner and, and uh, usually uh, Elliot on the other one. You know, Wise came in and did a nice job. And Webster has played really well this year. Yeah. So real solid play from a lot of guys. Um, I'm, I'm missing a few in there I know that, that come in and stuff. But, um, you know, those guys have really set the tone defensively. Came into this game and, you know, already decided who was going to win the district. But it was big coming in tonight. Colin Carlock, 10 catches shy of the Laker record. And there's a lot of good receivers that have played here at Camerton. He was able to break the record. And then you let the, the call the timeout and let the fans and the team talk to us about what that meant as a coach to get to see the young man break that record. Well, I think number one is so deserving just because he's uh, such an unselfish kid. I mean, he's going to do anything he can to help the team win. So, um, you know, we throw to him a lot anyway. So it, it felt good to go ahead and, and get it done tonight for, for the team, for him, you know. Um, and uh, just a real deserving kid and just a heck of a receiver. You're right, we've had a lot of good ones here, you know. And I thought the neat part was being able to break it with the Coach Folk is his coach. Coach had, had actually held the old record, you know, so and had had it for 25 years. So that's a that's a big big number, you know, uh, especially in our offense. But uh, did a great job, and uh, I'm really happy for him. And I know he's happy for the team. That's what makes you so happy for him. And you know, he's got a chance to really bury that record with districts coming up. You know, he he should be able to. You'll have Ryan Elliott back for district play. You believe? We do, we do. I think that's going to be a you know a huge key for us. Obviously, we got to have a you know. Those guys out there that can they can't double, you know, one of them. You got the other one you can go to. So, um, you know, our other receivers did a nice job filling in today. Uh, we got Babs and and we got Allison. We got Webster. All those guys are very capable of split ends, you know. But uh, Ryan's got the experience here, obviously, and he's having a great year too. He's caught 30 plus passes. So we think we're going to have him back, and uh, we, we sure hope we do. Camerton Laker team led by head coach Jeff Shore. They finished tonight. Big win. Finished the season 8-1. and one. We'll look forward to covering you in districts. Coach, Guys, thank you very thanks much. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate the coverage. Absolutely. Head coach Jeff Shore here on Lake TV. They'll be back here in a week and a half. Lake TV will have it as they play districts right here in Camerton. We hope you enjoyed watching this rebroadcast of Friday night's exciting high school football game on Lake TV. Lake of the Ozarks area high school football is brought to you by these participating sponsors. Chris Wagner at Farmers Insurance, Smart Postal Centers, Quick Car, Save-A-Lot, Laser Force, Home Comfort Furnishings 123, Precision Tire and Auto Repair, Replay, Aris Pizza and Pub, JJ Twigs, Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC, and Beck Wellness Center.